Hey everyone, it's uh, Murray Five here. I've been working on something, something cool every time, every now and then. I tinker with things and make something that's a little bit different. And today I thought I'd share something with you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I went out and created some Power Virtual agents that integrated into Dynamics 365. But then also how I can go out and share them. And I put them into into the workspaces as a, uh, a, a sort of like a standalone virtual agent allowing me to go out and query assets and even create maintenance requests so this is an example of what you could do if you really wanted to go crazy and do th uh, some different things okay so let's start and i'll show you what i did so for all of you that aren't familiar with uh, Power Virtual Agents, then this is one of the Power Platform tools that you can go out and it allows you to go out and create conversational bots. And it's um, really pretty easy to do. So for example, if I wanted to create a, um, a conversation where, in this case, I'm going out and I want to know where an asset is stored, then we can have a trigger phrase and then we we go out and we uh, send messages, and this is where I can say, hi, I'm a maintenance bot, and I can help you with that. Then I ask, what is the asset that I'm looking for? And then I add a message. And then what we can do is we can go out and uh, use a Power Automate flow to go out and query information. So I've gone out and I've built this already. This goes out and gets an as the asset information. It's going through Dataverse to find that information then actually goes out and finds the functional location and it returns back the name of the asset, the location and the location ID. And then after I've done that, then we can go out and we can return back a message. So say, for example, I, could, I can start a conversation. I can say an asset Then what it's doing is it's going to run this process and it's saying, hi, I'm maintenance bot. And then it says, what asset am I looking at? And I, I want to look up my ear knife. And this is going through the process and it's going to uh, step through and it says it's found the ear knife and it's located at this cooling line. So this is just a really quick conversation that I've got set up in the system. Now, what you can do is now you can go out and you could embed this into something like Teams or into a demo website or a whole slew of different channels. And what I can do is if, for example, I want to uh, go out and look at this bot as a chat, then what I can do is I can just create a new tab here, paste this in, and then I it's going to take me to a web page. And it's going to run through the same process. So we could run this on a phone. We could do whatever we want with that. Now, what, what we can do, though, is if I copy this, then we can go in and we can add this directly into Dynamics 365, into a workspace or into a form. So. What I can do is I've got, in this case, I'm in my work order management, and I've got this showing up, and I can say where is an asset. And it's going to allow me to run through this bot conversation directly within uh, finance and operations and give me the same information back. Now, I have to go out and run through a couple of hurdles with this, because if I go out and if I personalize this, what I can do is I can say, I want to add an app directly to this page and I can add it up here and I can say, I want to add a website. And then I can just paste that URL in here into the view. So let me close this. But when I do that, then it has this, uh, uh, heading up here 
and then also has the message and the, uh, the color looks right. But I don't like seeing this maintenance bot. What I want to do is I want to uh, see it like this, where I just have the maintenance bot and I have the question, and it and it looks um it looks nicer than a than a normal screen. So the way you do that is that when you go out and uh, and go into the channels for the bot, then what you can do is you can find the bot ID. And then also what you can do is you can go out and build a custom HTML uh, page, which goes out and run, and you give it the bot ID. And then you can run that directly as a page. So if I go to my desktop here and then open up that page, then this is the bot running here where I can say where is an asset. And I could say, I'll look up my ear knife. And then it's going to go through, uh, it's going to go and look up the ear knife and find out where it is. But then what you can also do is because you can't run this because this is local, then what I can do is I can go out and in this case, I'm creating a maintenance bot and I've uploaded that file up to uh, up to Azure as storage. And if I copy this and paste it, now I've got a maintenance bot that's a web page that anyone can access and query that. And then we can go and look at look at data and we can um, go through and work through that. And then if I go back into uh, into the uh, my workspaces here, then I can have my, my workspace and then I can have this bot that's embedded here. I just added it in uh, using the uh, add a web page. And then I'm type, I can type in a message and I can have a conversational interaction with the bot directly here within supply chain management. Hey everyone. So that was a quick overview of how I went out and created a Power Virtual Agent I linked it up to uh, uh, asset management within Dynamics 365 so I could run my own queries in a more conversational way rather than having to go out and uh, work through the menus. So um, a little bit of a fun way to work with the ERP rather than the traditional way that we, we manage it. Uh, this technique you could actually use in a number of different ways. It doesn't have to go into uh, Dynamics 365, it can go to really into any web application that allows you to embed frames into, into the view. So if you have any questions or comments, then make sure that you uh, post them. Uh, uh, post them on YouTube if you can. I'll try to try to respond to those. And if you like this and you really like it, then why don't you uh, click the subscribe button? And if you want to share the love, then maybe click on the not notifications button so that you can see uh, new videos as I'm going out and creating them. So uh, that, that helps us, uh, my channel, it's not, it's not a big channel, but I'd like to grow it out and it sort of helps the algorithm. So uh, I'll, that's all I really wanted to show today and talk about. So until next time, we'll just um, catch you later.